Hi everybody, Daniel again from Fisher's Music Academy and today I'm coming to you from home as a lot of you are at home and I want to record a second video in our Fisher's Music Academy online series for voice uh, warm-ups and exercises. Let's start today with a another breath exercise. Uh, we're going to start with an exercise called hook. And if you were to spell this out, it would it would be spelled H O O K. The key to this exercise uh, is two things. One, to use the H at the beginning of the sound and aggressively push the H at the start. And then on the K sound at the end of the word to aggressively rebound into a breath where our mouth is already in an awe position. So let me give you an example. Hook, hook, hook. Um, notice that I ended with the breath even though I was done. So the first exercise is called hook. And let's go ahead and try it together. I'm gonna keep a steady beat here with my uh, snapping. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to, to breathe in and then hook, hook, and let's do that, let's do that three times, okay? So here we go together, ready, breathe. Hook, hook, hook. Now, some, some things to remember is that we do wanna stand tall with our shoulders down, back, and relaxed. And when we breathe out and when we breathe in, we're using the mechanism here. We're using the tummy, we're using uh, focus on filling the lungs and using the tummy muscles to push as we come out on the who sound. Um, we haven't talked a lot about diaphragm. We haven't talked a lot about the anatomy. Um, I, I try to keep things simple, especially because I don't know who's going to be watching the videos. And we may be we may have some viewership that's younger and at the beginning stages of singing. And this is an exercise everyone can do, so I, wanna be, I don't wanna be too detailed with that just yet. Now, I hesitate to do this on video because if you've ever blown up a balloon, sometimes it's a little harder than you think at first, but I'm gonna go ahead and blow up this red balloon. And this is a great visual for, uh, again, for the basics of breathing. Let me blow up this balloon and we'll talk more about the breathing mechanism. So um, in the same way that we breathe in and fill our lungs, um, we're going to consider the balloon here and its full body. Um, we'll consider this a, an example of our lungs. We will look at the neck of the balloon, this top part up here, and we'll consider that to be equivalent to um, this area of our body here. Um, a lot of singers, especially at the, the younger ages, the teen and preteen ages, in particular young boys, but really for everybody, we have a tendency to reach by lifting our head and our chin, um, to, to reach and also to grab using muscles that we don't need to use here. Instead, what we need to do is use the muscles in the tummy to, uh, to push the air that is in the lungs um, and release the tension that's up here. So really everything above the shoulders, we want to be free of tension. Yes, our mouth does the pronouncing. Yes, our, our tongue, our, our lips, the articulators, that's what makes the clarity happen with the diction, um, the pronunciation of the lyrics. But those shouldn't be aggressive to the point we're using muscles in our throat that are constricting. So this example of the balloon um, is gonna be an example of what not to do. And remember, this is, this is a, an example of our lungs. This is an example of our throat here. So if we were to breathe in, uh, even if it's a good breath, and fill the lungs with air, if we come up to the top here in the neck area and we are trying to sing out, but we're using a lot of tension here, we get that squeaky sound. And a lot of times when we're singing, we feel like that's what we're doing. We're squeaking, we're making sounds that aren't healthy or aren't good. And that's where a lot of times we can have that self-doubt and that lack of confidence creep in. And you're not wrong to think that it's incorrect. And so we're gonna talk about more exercises in future videos on how to focus on uh, the right technique. But what we wanna do is we wanna open, the, open the, the throat and the neck and allow for there to be less tension and to be free flowing of air so that our lungs can push the air um, in our tummy. 
okay? Our, our tummy can push the air rather um, in the abdominal areas and uh, push the air out of our lungs is what I meant to say. So um, as we continue with these exercises, I want you to focus on those couple things. How are we breathing? Are we filling the lungs with air? And then as we're singing out, are we using the tension in the right place? Um, because pressure isn't necessarily a bad thing if it's in the right place. So we want to focus our energy and uh, tension in this area here where our abdominals are pushing the lungs and controlling the air rather than above the shoulders in this area where we're going to get that pinching sound I demonstrated with the balloon. Let's begin with a simple uh, five note scale up and down the scale like this. And I'm going to sing every other exercise with you. So the first one and the third one and the fifth one, and you get the idea. So let's go ahead and work our way up the scale, singing this exercise on an O vowel. And look in your screen, look in your mirror at home um, at your O position. So we've got a breath. We've got um, using the pressure down here in our tummy, but not the neck and the, th the throat area. And also we have a vowel position we want to help, with, um, help the sound with too. Here we go together. O. the scale and the different registers of our voice, we're going to feel some things that are different. And that's normal. If if you are trying to make things similar, that's okay. But it really does not feel the same when you're in this part of your voice singing O and an, an octave higher singing O. Okay, It just physically is not the same. And you can have a goal to make things similar, but let's be realistic. It's going to sound, um, it's going to feel different. Okay. Let's continue on with an exercise that's an arpeggio. And it's a nice and sunny day here. It's Wednesday, uh, March 25th. It's beautiful outside. And it's probably gonna be one of the nicest days that we're gonna have in a, in a couple days because of the rain and the weather. So let's make this, um, make, make this exercise. It is a beautiful day and I love to sing. It is a beautiful day and I love to sing. Try by yourself. Two more times. Last time. As we incorporate lyrics and words into the exercises, it's important to remember we're focusing on the vowels. Yes, it starts with good breath. Yes, it starts with the release of tension above the shoulders. And as we sing out those sounds, we're focusing on the vowels in the words. Okay, so it is a beautiful day and I love to sing. Think about the vowels in those phrases. Let's try about four more, maybe five more, and focus on the vowels in the words. Here we go together with a breath. It is a beautiful day and I love to sing. It is a beautiful day and I love to sing. On your own. And two more. Last one, make it your best. Let's stop there for today's video. Um, this is our voice series. This is episode two in our warm-up exercise series for voice in Fisher's Music Academy Online Academy presented, of course, by Fisher's Music Academy. And I'm Daniel. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you on episode three. And if you are a guitar or if you are a piano student of ours and you'd like to check out the uh, other playlists on our YouTube channel, please feel free to do so. Have a great day. It's a sunny, beautiful day, and I'll see you next time.